So word on the roads is that Steve Harvey could have played a gigantic part to play in Wendy Williams' destruction, since he plotted against her and attempted to demolish her vocation this show began in light of the fact that Wendy tossed Conceal as Steve's family. So Steve pronounced battle on Wendy and attempted to pursue her pack. Yet does this imply that Steve had a major hand in why Wendy's profession ran out? You also, you all, Skilla, I said that Wendy Williams' life is somewhat of a hopeless train wreck. Right now, we as a whole felt that her chaotic life began after her significant other had a child on her. She got separated needed to pay him divorce settlement, became ill, lost her show, and afterward had her cash seized by Wells Fargo. Definitely our young lady Wendy has experienced a ton yet what the vast majority don't understand is that the wreck began before all of this. It truly began a couple of years before that since it goes way back to when Steve Harvey attempted to kill her profession, Steve Harvey, and Wendy Williams once had hamburger that was terrible to such an extent that he effectively attempted to destroy her profession and ruin her. I mean, in the past, Wendy had hamburger with so many celebs that it was somewhat difficult to monitor them all. I mean, she was continuously spilling tea and hauling celebs, so it's not exactly shocking that a large number of them could have done without her yet. With Steve Kid the Meat was private now, most celebs who loathed Wendy generally kept her at arm's length or disregarded her altogether, however, not Steve on the grounds that he came for herself. And he came for her where he realized that it planned to hurt her syndicated program. Now assuming there is one thing that we realize that Steve doesn't kid about it's his significant other and his children, well his embraced kids since we realize that he don't be thinking often a lot about his natural children. Yet Cho, you won't ever find him playing about Marjorie's children, and even among Marjorie's children. Obviously, Steve loved greatness, the most on the grounds that he even used to take her own dad little girl date, which is something that he didn't do with his own girls on one of our yearly dad little girl dates to my number one Japanese eatery. And you recently began conversing with me about folks. And you just let me know that you know generally upheld me. And you'd constantly show up for me regardless of what you cherished me genuinely. He never at any point had a relationship with his natural child, Broderick, until the kid turned 16. I didn't actually have my father full-time into my life until I was 16. Right, so yes, Steve favors Lori, and unfortunately, it has caused dramatization inside the family and inside source that Steve made the best choice, embraced Marjorie's children, and cherished him like his own, yet there's a ton of discord among the mixed Harvey tribe. There has tragically been some desire waiting among his kin over Lori, who is the most renowned of all criminals' kids, assuming control over the spotlight with her high-profile love life. So you all can suppose somebody attempted to comfort Lori and humiliate her freely, yes, Steve would go crazy. And that is precisely exact thing happened to Wendy Williams when she openly humiliated and disgraced Lori. We realized that Lori used to date Future. And I won't lie, this was a truly sketchy choice on her part since we as a whole realize Future is for the roads yet hello her life and all stuff and she can date who she needs to date yet. Like I said, Wendy was untidy AF, and she disgraced Lori on her syndicated program. And we're in Jamaica commending her 23rd birthday. Yet every one of the young ladies were there Jordan Tiana Taylor. All them hot young ladies were there Oak and Future has eight children with eight infants. Mother's Lori wasn't conceived a Harvey Steve. Embraced her when he got with Marjorie, his better half, yet she got with him on some music Oak. This entire situation was really superfluous, and it was somewhat strange the way in which she raised the way that Lori isn't Steve's natural little girl. I mean, it wasn't even pertinent to the subject of Lori's relationship with Future, and I sort of felt like she just raised the point to humiliate Lori significantly more yet, assuming you feel that was chaotic well. Wendy had more to say, and this opportunity she came from Marjorie and Steve, on the grounds that she went after them for their nurturing popular Steve. 
I want to believe that you and Marjorie are extremely glad for your girl, uh. At 23 years of age, being with a man with such countless youngsters and going around. And she then, at that point, took steps to hurt Lori on the off chance that this was my little girl at 23. I would break her neck, break her skull, and toss her down the means this was so wrecked that she got called out online by fans for being brutal. Somebody said I'm truly regarding to quit watching Wendy Williams discussing how she would toss Lori Harvey down the means and break her skull on the off chance that she was her parent due to her dating history. Continue to discuss how she's heard a few things about her nauseating. And this other individual said to Wendy Williams, I must say it, like yet disgracing the general. manner in which she discussed Lori Harvey today was fringe risky. I toss my girl down the means. And break her bones ain't something I tell my little girl, regardless of the number of men that she'd been with I feel that Wendy's set of experiences of being muddled, and in some cases discourteous of others, is the explanation she hasn't precisely been getting a ton of help from the business. I mean, we've all perceived how much help and love Jamie Foxx has been getting from everybody in the business in the recent weeks. Yet Wendy's life has been topsy-turvy for the recent years, and I don't think I've seen any celeb openly show her adoration. I mean, it's one thing to spell T, yet it's something else to be out and out, mean about it, and you will back to Steve. And how he pursued his retribution on Wendy, not long after Wendy discussed Lori, she felt wiped out and needed to remove some time from the show. Now the planning of this was exceptionally off-base since there was at that point some discussion at Fox Network about dropping her show her medical problems, implied that she needed to put a hold on from the show, and while the executives were stressed over how might affect the show the timing was ideal for Steve, in light of the fact that his show had as of late been dropped by NBC and insiders, guaranteed that he was enraged about this, however, at that point how better to make a major return than to take the time allotment of the one who hauled your girl and humiliated you once reports of Wendy's non-attendance began circumventing Steve, quickly began looking at her spot and surprisingly took actions to get the spot on the off chance that Steve took Wendy's spot. Besides the fact that he get would his vengeance on her yet, he would likewise adhere the finger to NBC for dropping his show as per an insider at the time the Fox folks see Steve as a sufficiently large name and word in the business is how he's been treated by NDC. He feels they don't merit him. They are thinking about a couple of individuals who can be a rating on the off. Chance that Wendy needs additional opportunity to get better Steve is around one thing, winning and assuming he returns to his show to a major organization, they will siphon bunches of cash into it and he figures it will get him back on the highest point of the television rating, it would have been the ideal vengeance for Steve on the grounds that Wendy's profession would have gone down the channel in a split second. I mean, we've all been following her vocation for the recent years. And how everything has gone to clean from that point forward, that would have happened to her show in the event that Steve's arrangement had gone through yet. It didn't, and Wendy lived to battle one more day Yet, sadly, things haven't worked out so well for her from that point forward, and individuals feel like it's all karma for the awful things that she said about individuals over the course of the years. As I said before, she sort of overdid it with the Lori thing, and dissimilar to Jamie Foxx individuals, aren't precisely her ally here since her vocation went down a channel. There have been remarks like what's going on with Wendy Williams' cash is horrendous. And I disdain that that happened to her yet something to me feels like it's karma for every one of the frightful things that she said about individuals over the course of the years. Just to bring in that cash Wendy Williams gradually disintegrating is the karma she merits for being so vicious dreadful to such countless individuals she ought to languish over to the extent that this would be possible. And might no one at any point cause me to feel terrible for Wendy Williams. How debilitated she is correct now karma don't skirt no one, despite the fact that Steve fell flat to kill Wendy's vocation without help from anyone else individuals, feel like karma dealt with that for his sake. 
Yet do you all think that when these difficulties are a consequence of terrible karma, let me in on what your contemplations are and afterward, look at this next video on familiar.